Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial series on top Java into equation. So this is my part two video of thread life cycle. So in my last video, I, I have explained what is thread and thread life cycle. So if you are not seen that video, I will provide the link for that video in the description of this video. So in this video, I'm going to cover different ways to create thread using Eclipse. So let's discuss. We have two ways to create thread in Java. So we can use thread class or we can use runnable interface. So let's do that. Let's open the Eclipse. So let's create a class. Let's say we have a process class inside thread package. Okay, so let's first discuss the thread using thread class implementation. So let's extend thread class. Okay, so we need to override run method of the thread class. So let's do that public void run. Okay. So here let's write some code. So let's write some sys dot out. Okay, so current thread is running. So let's print the name of the thread. Dot. Okay, current thread dot get name. So let's use sleep method here for two seconds. Thread dot sleep. Okay, so we need to provide that try catch block. Okay. So let's print terminated completed. Okay, so as I have discussed in my last video, the thread um, the first the state will be new, then it comes to the runnable state. Then, so this is the run method, so it will execute the run method and then. After the execution of the run method, the thread will be terminated. So, so let's test this. We have created a thread. So let's write a test class. Okay, you can say thread test. So we can directly use process p1 equal to no process, new process so to start the, the thread we need, need to use start method ok and let's write this code into the main method ok let's copy this yep, so we can test it now okay so this is working fine so this is the first way in which we can create thread in java we have to extend thread class and then we need to override run method so let's create thread using second way which is a runnable method so let's create one more, one more class as process1 Okay, so implements runnable interface and runnable interface have a run method. So let's override it and let's copy this same logic from here to here. Okay, so yep, so the thread is ready. 
so we can test this now using test class so now we need to create a new thread let's give it name as t1 equal to new thread and in the constructor we need to pass a runnable interface implemented class so that is our process one okay and we can start this okay so let's run this okay so it is working so our two ways of com of creating the threads is completed so using enable method uh, so enable interface also we can create a class and then implement it and then we have to override the run method to create the thread so now let's discuss some practice of thread creation so these are the uh, two basic ways in which we can create thread using enable interface or thread class so now to simplify this we have enormous function we can use where in the same we don't need to create a class inside the one statement we can create a thread and use that or we can also use lambda expression of java 8 to create the thread okay so let's do that let's create let's say we have a thread t1 equal to new thread okay so here we can override the run method and let's copy this okay okay so we need to think we have an extra bracket here Okay, this is run method. Okay, here we need to put one more bracket. Okay, so our thread is fine. We have created the threads using anonymous function, and we have overridden the run method also. So we can th we can start this thread. It's here. So let's use the start method of the thread class. Okay, so yep it is working so it's a very simple way of creating the thread so let's create one more thread like this let's say we have t2 thread and we can start this thread t2 okay and let's test this yeah it is working so uh, now we can use enable interface also so let's do that enable so we can use anonymous function for enable interface also so here we need to same thing we need to override the run method okay so now this enable we have created the enable object now we this object we need to pass into the thread class constructor so for that we need to create new thread let's say we have t3 t, t thread okay new thread so here we need to pass this renewable object okay and let's start this okay so we can test this now so yeah it is working all three threads are started and they have completed the task okay so this is cool like animal function is fine where we don't have to create a class to create the thread so now using lambda expression we can also do that so like let's say we create a enable instance enable one equal to 
so the naval interface have no parameters and now let's use the lambda expression so in the inside the lambda expression we just need to put these statements okay and same thing we need to create thread class object so let's create t4 thread and pass this enable into the constructor argument and let's start the t4 thread okay so let's run this yeah it is working so to recap uh, so I have discussed the first way using thread class we can override them run methods second we can use renewable interface and then override the run method and to make it more simple we can use anonymous function so here we have used the thread class and then here we have overridden the run method so this logic is same so here I'm creating renewable instance and then I'm overriding run method and I'm passing this instance into the constructor argument and here I'm using lambda expressions so these are the best practice of thread creations in Java so so that's all for this video uh, so in my next video I will discuss about top Java interview questions so I have a list of the questions so let's discuss that into next videos so see you next video bye bye